When you meditate on the word of God, what happens is you have blessings, which is the same word as happy. And then also it says that you prosper as well. So how do you get all of this? How? By this, by meditating on the word of God. And then when you get all of this, the end result is on the judgment day, you enter into the kingdom of your heavenly father. You will be found shining, righteous on that day. But when somebody um, stays in doing wrong, the ungodly, the wicked, the evil people, both high and small, what happens is like they are chaff. They cannot stand. So in, on the day of judgment, they will not be able to stand. Have you ever seen a guilty person wobbling on their knees with guilt or they can't look you straight in the eye with guilt and then also ultimately they are going to perish and do you remember in one of the pages when I put the face let's find it yes do you remember this face the sad face so let's go back Here we are. So, doomsday, they perish. And how does this occur? This is how it occurs. It says here, the counsel of the ungodly. So, such a person entertains wickedness. They entertain bad advice. They entertain things that are not helpful to their soul. And the end of it, this is what happens when you or I, when we entertain things that are not helping us, things that are not causing us to be grounded. This is what happens. We're like, we're like this. We're like this. It's a picture of a chaff. you know, blown by the wind to and fro, not grounded, not settled, following every new idea that comes along. That's what happens. And those who are godly, this is how it happens for them. So when you and I meditate on the word of the Lord, what happens is that we are like a tree planted. I'm just going to highlight that. We're like this. A tree planted near streams of water. Flourishing. And every season it bears its fruits. So basically, there's coming a day when the angels of the Lord will gather the things that are offensive. So this psalm actually tells you that, um, it, it, it basically it answers the question of when people say, where is God in bad things happening? So if you're listening to this video, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I don't really believe in God. Because if God exists, how come bad things happen? Well, this psalm answers that question for you. It tells you that God watches. Do you remember there was a place where we saw that God watches? See if we can find it. Now, where is it? It's here. Remember? When we said here that God, he watches so he's watching. And there's a place in the Bible where it says that a day is like a thousand years in the eyes of the Lord. So he's watching. He dwells in eternity. So because God's not doing something today does not mean that those people got away with it. 
So this psalm ought to encourage you in knowing that there is a God who sees everything. So be encouraged and pursue godliness, pursue doing good and pick up your Bible and start to read the Bible. Start to meditate on God, think about him. Um, even if you're not a Christian, I encourage you to start to think about God. Start to think about Jesus. Start to wonder in your heart, who is this Jesus? What if he's real? What if he's truth? For after all, he says that he is the truth. So start to chew on this and take Psalm 1 as something that causes you to ask your, yourself these questions. Okay? And I, I, I can tell you that the more you do that, the more your eyes will be open to see to see the kingdom of your heavenly father, the kingdom of God. The more you ask questions, the more you will be able to see. Mind you, you cannot, en you cannot enter it except by the blood of Jesus himself. And in fact, you can't even see it except by the Holy Spirit himself. But the thing that you can do is you can exert your will you can have a willingness to think about it a willingness to pursue godliness a willingness to ask questions look again you looked before well look again turn this direction and have another look <laughs>